This is Amoeba Doctor Podcast number 13. 13! Oh my god. It's actually the second take of this podcast. Sorry, I'm standing up. This is the second take of this podcast. Um, the first one I did on Wednesday. I recorded my my longer form thoughts on the Pyra Mithra reveal, and then I talked about work ethic uh, and how I usually work 12 to 14 hours a day. Um, but now I'm taking a break and cutting it down to like 8 to 10. Because, good lord, I, lurk, I work like hell. However, from time to time, um, I do change topics and re-record a podcast in case something more important comes up. Um, so we'll, we'll talk about Pyra Mithra Reveal first. We'll recap some of that. Um, and then we're going to get to the absolutely crazy growth on the YouTube channel. That has been happening recently so bear with me if you're new here um you should go back and listen to some of the older podcasts uh i need to make a playlist of them that's oh is that a girl texting me that's nah, my brother okay well anyway um i need i do need to make a playlist okay pyra mithra so like for reference um i don't like video game characters men or women that are like overly sexually appealing um obviously being a straight dude like i have a bigger problem of it when women are like overly sexually appealing than men um just because I, I feel like there's too much sex like too much open sex in society today like that there are limits and boundaries to thing so would it kill someone to put some pants on pyra and mithra that's how i feel about it I don't really care about the character reveal that much, but come on! The nice so the nice thing is I'm at my parents' place right now, so I can yell freely, and that's always fun. I appreciate it. Sorry, I probably just raped your ears, or as the kids say, ear rape. Uh, but it's true. Where are their pants? Where are the? Do you not need pants when fighting? I've played enough RuneScape to know that in combat. Pants are necessary. That's right. Pants are important. Where are your pants? Now, I've never played Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I've never played the first one either. I saw the second one. I noticed nobody had pants on and got spooked. Okay? Where are your pants? Where are your parents, for starters, to shame you for walking around in public without pants? But where are your... Oh, my God. Anyway, um, no, so I think the gimmick is really cool. I like the switching. I well, That was one thing I did miss about Zelda and Sheik was, was being able to switch. Um, Bouncing Fish was really good for Sheik. That was a cool addition. Zelda having her new down special was a really cool addition. But just being able to switch was really neat. And obviously Smash 3DS killed that. Um, it killed the Ice Climbers. It killed... Uh, it killed Zelda and Sheik being able to switch. Zero Suit Samus and Samus. Uh, Pokemon Trainer probably as well um you know a lot of hardware limitations that they had to make work so like fair enough okay i get it i get it right i'm sad that it went away it was a re i was hoping it would come back in ultimate but it never did but like okay we have a character that can switch not just pokemon trainer either like awesome that is that's awesome i'm i'm glad for that um it was one mechanic that I really enjoyed. I haven't... I'm waiting to do an analysis on when they actually release. Okay? Um, we can examine the footage and go through frame by frame. Mewtwo King's already done that. You should just go watch his video. I'm more interested, as usual, in how it will fare in Amiibo. Um, now, we, we actually... If you're new to the channel, we actually have footage of DLC characters as Amiibo already. We have Banjo-Terry Byleth Amiibo bin files. Um... We have modded Steve Sephiroth Min Min Amiibo footage as well. Just search up Amiibo Doctor and then the name of the Amiibo you want footage on. Uh, it's something that we've done for a long time, actually. In fact, I have I had footage of the Pichu Amiibo. That's how far back we've been doing this um, before he released. So, anyway, so that was really cool. Um, but yeah, like... <laughs> I don't know. I... I I never played Xenoblade Chronicles 2. I don't understand. Are they the same person? 
Pyra and Mithra, are they multiple personalities? Like, how, what is the deal here, you know? Um, I, I don't know. I, <laughs> I wrote a post. <laughs> I wrote a post for, I, I knew I had to write this as soon as I saw it. Um, I wrote a post on AmoebaDoctor.com. It's probably still on the front page. You may have to scroll down a bit. Um, but it was Pyra and Mithra confirmed for Smash. Is Sakurai a simp? <laughs> and the conclusion was, I'm not sure, but probably. <laughs> so you, if you haven't read that yet, you should find it and read it. Um, you'll really enjoy it. Oh, I forgot to take the slash tier list off the text thing. Um, well, I just finished the Amiibo tier list video. I would be talking about the Amiibo tier list change right now, but since I just did a video on it, I'm not going to. Um... This, this is Saturday, and this video comes out Sunday, so the tier list video should already be up. Anyway. So, yeah, like, I I don't know. There were better options. You know, there there were. Um, F-Zero, very, 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 very well-deserving a new character. I know they haven't had a new game since the GameCube, I think. That also should be rectified. I'm, I'm like, I guess I'm an F-Zero fan, but not very much. But, like, even I know... F-Zero needs a new game. It really does. Like, Mario Kart does not compare as a racer to F-Zero. It just doesn't, you know? Um, so F-Zero really needs a new game. Mother, mo well, I guess Mother only had two games, um... Cult following, yes, but like limited reach. So I, as much as I would absolutely love, love to have a new mother character, um, I I can see why there's not one. It makes sense. Uh, as always, there's a million Mario characters that you could throw in just because. Um, there's there's really and Zelda. You could throw in a number of Zelda characters. I mean, hell, you could do like Toon Zelda. If you wanted to get super lazy. I was I was really hoping for like a Fighters Pack 3 that's like semi-clones, you know? Um, that would be really cool. I would have really liked that, and that's okay. Um, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't know. Spirits definitely don't deconfirm characters now, that's for sure. Um, so, <laughs> yay! But uh, no, they're just, they're just way better options. But, but also, like, not everything's going to be a knockout, you know? We got Steve from Minecraft in Smash Brothers. We have Ryu. We have Solid Snake, you know, Sephiroth and Cloud together. Like, let's, let's take a moment and think about this roster for a sec. You know what I mean? So, I'm... I was upset for the first minute or two because I was like, really? Come on. Come on! But, you know, it, it's not my game. I will say I don't understand the loves that Z Xenoblade gets over the Mother series. It just doesn't make sense to me. Um, they're both JRPGs and, like, that's cool and all. But, like, why Xenoblade over Mother? You know? That doesn't make much sense to me. So, but yeah, so I, I, I'm not, like, upset about it. I just wish they would put on some pants, you know? Like, I, I don't, it's a self-control thing, right? Like, I don't want to walk around seeing pantsless women. That's annoying. So, all right. Okay, Pyra Mithra, there we go. However, however, um, something major happened. Super, and, and you definitely know what it is by now. That's for damn sure. Um, so when the Pyra Mithra characters got revealed, Kangoni, who is a regular tributor, regular contributor, there we go. We'll use the full forms of words. That's a good idea. To the website, used a mod. And Kang is a bit of a modder. And he made... Um, he made a render... Not really like a render mod. He basically used a mod that made it look like there was a new slot on the menu and he put their renders in 
for that. He made like a seven second clip of it. And I asked Kane, could I put it up on the website? And he said no. I was like, what? <laughs> what do you mean no? Like, you're a regular contributor and this is perfect. It's like, no, I just because I said so. Because I don't want to. I was like, oh my god. King's being rude, man. I don't know if he's rude. It's his, you know, it's his creation. He has the right to do it, right? So I hop into voice chat. I was persistent. I was like, no, this thing is going to explode, right? If we have renders on, on rosters and stuff, it's going to explode. And so I hop into voice chat. Immediately, I'm like, King! King! What? I'll pay you five bucks. I'm like, all right, fine. So he, he remade it and actually did a much better job on it, I'll say. Um, and into like a 19 second clip. And uh, and so that's that's what ended up on the YouTube channel. And uh, I, I did pay him five bucks, paid him through PayPal. You know, it's like, it's really, really kind of a bro, bro moment, you know. Because um, there's no reason to say no, but anyway. Um, I do love Kang. Kang's a good dude. I get it. He's got to make his money. But no, so like, um, I, I uploaded it at like 10, maybe. 10 o'clock that night. And uh, I checked before I went to bed, and it was like 170 views. I was like, oh, that's cool. Well, I'm glad I got some viewership. And then I wake up the next morning, and it's at 7,000. I'm like, what? <laughs> 7,000? Like... I, I was expecting five. I was thinking... So, like, one thing that we've done in the past, um, when the Steve Amiibo came out, and this Kang was actually influential in this as well, when the Steve Amiibo came out, um, and when Sephiroth, we modded in versions of them. Like, or when, when not when their Amiibo came out, when their character released, we modded in Amiibo versions of them on the Amiibo menu, like a short 15-second video just showing them scanning in. Right? And Steve video got like 5,000 hits. It's at 6,000 now. Sephiroth got like 17,000. Uh, I think it just crossed the 18,000 mark. Um, and then they got dropped off the algorithm, right? I was hoping to replicate that. And it did. It really did. It still is. So the, the, the title of the video... And you can easily find this, because this is going to be on my most popular videos for a damn long time. Pyra slash Mithra on roster screen plus battle screen. It's like a 19 second video. Guess how many views it's at right now. I actually don't have real time in front of me. Actually, wait. Can I? Oh, that's outdated. How do I do this? Well, it, YouTube Studio app is telling me 81,000 hits. 81,000 hits. So it got like 36,000 the first day. And then it got like another 32,000 last night. And then it's picked up like another 13. And I'm just like... Well, damn! That was the best five bucks I ever spent! You know what I mean? Like... <laughs> that was really quite... Uh quite useful you know <laughs> hot dog um picked up like 200 subscribers thus far from it well so i tried to capitalize on that so i did a video um speculating a short actually speculating on the pyramithra amoeba hoping it would get picked up by the short shelf and uh, it didn't actually which i was really disappointed about. i was like how did that not hit the shelf you know um, it, I, I thought I had figured out the short shelf and then I didn't, uh, but no, so like that was, that was sad. Um, but it still picked up like 2000 hits, which was awesome. Um, so that was like, that was really just, I have, I have been so, we're going to get religious here. God has seriously blessed me. I know YouTube algorithm giveth, YouTube algorithm taketh away, right? But like, it could have just been shunned. You know, it could have just been shunned by the algorithm, right? That's happened before, where I've had things that should have been picked up by the algorithm, and they just don't, you know? Um, but, like, I have been seriously blessed. So, so blessed. Blessed with an opportunity, right? 
So when the Pyramithra amiibo come out, or when the character releases, we're going to do the same thing with their amiibo as well. Um, but dude, like 81... Okay, here's the thing. So, as of last Monday, the channel Lifetime had 215,000 views. Okay. We had about 1,530 subscribers, or 1,540, somewhere in there. Okay. Like, I have been uploading to this channel for two years. Literally two years. We're at almost 700 videos. Okay? Like... The fact that it's... I don't even know what it is, because, you know, when, when most YouTube videos get... Um, when they when they get their big break, they get thousands of subscribers. When we get our big break, we get tens, you know. But like we picked up two hundred subs, we went from fifteen hundred to fifteen fifty to like seventeen seventy right now. Wait, how many are we at right now? Let me check. Please be seventeen seventy six. Please be seventeen seventy six. Please, 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 please. What are we at? Ah, seventeen seventy four. I'm very patriotic. Um, <laughs> but no, like. You know what? On the one hand, there were other things that I would have preferred would have had that kind of, like, success, you know? Um, I would have loved for that Raid Boss training guide. But you know what? Why not this? Why not? A hundred thousand possible hit. Possibly. Eighty thousand. Could... Like, so when I, when I uploaded it, um, that morning when I saw seven thousand, I was thinking, like, okay, this is probably going to cap out at about thirty. That was my prediction, right? And then it, it, it kept going. I was like, what? And then it kept going the second day. I was like, what? <laughs> so, like, it, it very, you know, it could get dropped by the algorithm at any time, right? The algorithm giveth, the algorithm taketh away. But, like, this thing very well could hit 100,000 views. I, I really don't know what I would do if it did, frankly. Uh, the, the irony is that, um, you know, it cost me five bucks to get that video, right? But, like, you know, it's probably not going to make five bucks of revenue. <laughs> Which I think is hilarious. <laughs> it's probably not going to make five bucks. I really get a kick out of that. Um, that's okay. It was the best five bucks I ever spent. Um, actually, that's not true. My first Club Penguin membership. That was the best five bucks I ever spent. But I've, I've spent five bucks in a couple of good places here and there. So, But no, it's just... Oh, man. Guys. You, well, the funny thing is, like, two... Probably three weeks ago now. Um, I went on hiatus. I said, alright, I need to reconsider if this is something I want to do. Um, I need to reconsider... Is this is this even something worth doing? Because I, I have put my heart and soul into this. This is my passion. This is my expertise. Um, I I know that in, uh, in August this is done. Pretty much regardless. I I don't know the ins and outs, but like I'll be in law school in August. You know. Um, I had one school basically already tell me, A, that they're going to take me, and B, that I'm a quote-unquote strong candidate for their full-ride scholarship. Okay? It's my second-choice school, so hot dog. But, like... I only have so much time with Amoeba Doctor. You know? And so for something like this to act, to finally actually pay off finally finally pay off i've been doing this for two years we have almost 700 videos okay it it tells me that it wasn't in vain i know everyone else in the fucking world has had an easier time growing uh, i i watched ink thinks video on introspective this morning and he was talking about how Intro just kept putting out videos so that if he ever got big, there would be more than enough content 
um, for people to binge on, right? And so that, like, if he ever grew, it would be more than enough to sustain a subscriber base, right? And uh, I, I was just left wondering, you know... On the one hand, I understand why me, right? Because the, the production value of this channel did not go up until probably last October when we got a capture card and then it went up like it really went up and that was when the channel started to take off you know but I've been putting all this work into the website and into the YouTube channel even before then just you know it, it actually so one thing that I used to do when I wanted game footage I'd have to save a replay export it to my SD card using Smash Ultimate's vo uh, video thing record commentary over it and then edit that commentary onto the video right and, like, right before we got the capture card, the SD card on the Switch broke. Or, like, the, the reader broke. So I actually can only have one game plus cartridge on my Switch now. So I have Smash Ultimate and Mario 3D All-Stars. <laughs> That's really it. That is actually... Um, I actually, I deleted Fortnite. That's what got me to stop playing Fortnite. To be fair, I mean, I was going to stop playing Fortnite anyway, but... And New Horizons. That's when That was when I uninstalled New Horizons. So... But yeah, like... It... It's something. Finally. When most people get large, they get 10,000 subscribers. Okay? I get it. I'm niche. Right? And not only am I niche, but I'm in a niche that's dominated by one-and-done YouTube channels like Troctopus Alpha Rad, who make a couple of videos on it, do it for a while, get the free clicks, and then leave. I get it, okay? I have had to fight and dig for every single subscriber. So to have subscribers falling out of the sky, I don't even know what to do. Having subscribers fall out of the sky like that, you know, like, I I just don't, <laughs> I don't get it, you know, I'm, it's not registering as much as it should, you know what I mean? Like, it's really, really not registering. Because, so it, it used to be, I would lose, like, one subscriber, and, like, I, you know, depending on how I was feeling at the time, I either wouldn't care, because it could just be YouTube manually taking down or artificially taking down your subscriber account that happens sometimes right um because it thinks oh this account's a bot right or it could be like just people deciding that they hate your guts and what it was for a good chunk of the time i would upload a video and i would lose one or two subscribers i actually would and then i, I would have to gain subscribers based on evergreen videos like my nfc bank video from last year that's still getting traction. It's like 15... Th no. Yeah, it's like 15,000 views now. Right? So, like... To suddenly be gaining subscribers... What did I set my cup on? I don't know. But to be gaining subscribers... And to not have to put out... One video for every two subscribers is <laughs> I don't know how to put it you know um, and I, I, I wrote a community post that you should go back and read about some of the challenges I faced not even just in the lack of growth because the, the lack of growth is actually the most frustrating challenge um, but also the 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 what's the word the pushback from others. That's the hard part. The, the lack of growth is tremendously frustrating, but it's only frustrating in small doses, right? Because I know that I'm in this for the long game. I've been in this for the long game since day one. So it is frustrating sometimes because this long game is taking longer than it should. But also, it's the pushback from us. I had a YouTuber whom I once respected tell me to stop he actually kicked me out of his discord server who told me to stop uh teaching his people about amiibo 
my words, not his. I don't remember exactly what he said, and I've cleared out my DMs probably two or three times since then. Um, and it's for the best. I, But I, I had names that you would recognize tell me to shut up and go away. And I guess name. Singular. Singular name. In retrospect, and I didn't know this at the time, in retrospect they were exasperated because their fans kept saying, well, you know, this Amiibo expert guy, Amiibo doctor, he knows how to train Amiibo, and he says X, Y, Z. And it, it, if I'm giving them the benefit of the doubt, it was probably exasperation. Um, but, like... It feels like I've had the whole fucking world against me. Except for my, my little subscriber group... And my, my little community, it feels like everyone in the fucking world has been against me. And now, finally, now the world is starting to say, you know what, Doc? You're not that bad. You may be sloppy, your videos may be largely unedited, but you're not that bad. And I, I, I don't know what to do now. <laughs> I don't know, so I'm trying to capitalize on it. Right? That's what the Pirate Mithra Amiibo was. Or the, that short was. Um, but yeah, hiatus is over. That's for damn sure. <laughs> that is definitely... I'm, I'm busy uh, up through Monday, so I'm not going to have any free time until like next Tuesday um, once I head for work. That's that's. Here's the, here's the thing. So I only have like three or four open hours... I have two to three, three or four open hour blocks every week, okay? And in those times, um, I, I record videos, I get groceries, haircuts, life stuff, right? Um, and occasionally, if I'm feeling like staying up late, I'll, I'll do a live stream. That's why I usually live stream at night. Uh, which, by the way, if, if you aren't watching those you should you should subscribe turn on notifications blah 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 like videos leave a comment follow me on twitter i mean you know you know how to take care of people that you like anyway i don't have to tell you i'm not your dad but your dad needs to get on his game my goodness so no i'm just Dude, if you've stuck with me through this, through all of this weird-ass bullshit, you are an OG. You know that? Really. You are an OG. Because, like... There's, there's really... Um... How do I put this? Many content creators set their identity in their content. Many of them do. The big ones, the little ones. All I've talked with people at length whose names you would know. Um, I've I've had voice chats with accounts that are a hundred times my size. You know what I mean. Um, and we've talked at length about these things. I, I have connections. Loose, not very strong one, but they're, but they're connections, right? And for so many of them, their identity is their content. And I think the reason that my dumb ass has been able to do this for two years with minimal payoff is because my identity is not my content. If you, if you run into me on the street, you can call me Doc or Amiibo Doctor, and I'll answer as if it's my God-given name. Because it kind of feels like it is, you know? But my identity is not my content. Because I, I know if this fails, if Amiibo Doctor never goes anywhere, that's okay. I'm going to law school, right? And so I think that's why this has been much easier for me. Because... It's a hobby. It's a passion. It's not even a hobby now. It's a passion. Right? Like I mentioned in a community post the other day, I can't stop myself from thinking about Amiibo. About Amiibo content. Like, 
the reason I got interested in law, in intellectual property specifically, is because of Amiibo. It built my career. My future career, not yet. But, like, you remember the video that I did several months ago? Um, it was one of the last actually edited videos that I made. It was like, are Amiibo cards illegal? And, like, you guys hated that, and so I never released the second part. I actually trashed it. Right? Like, that video... Doing re I already knew I wanted intellectual property, but that video solidified that. That was like, okay, I want to do intellectual property. This is thoroughly interesting to me. You know? This is my passion. This isn't my job. This, that's why... this is. So I've always had disdain, and, and the comments from... The private discussions that I've had from one of the large YouTubers solidified this for me. Um, but, like... This isn't a paycheck. This isn't a cash grab. So, like, you look at Choctopus and his raid boss open, right? We'll, we'll pick on him for a moment. He wasn't the guy who was shitting on me privately, by the way. Although, I will say he did uh, he did indirectly disparage me on one of his streams, and that was very rude. Um, never did get an apology for that, but I don't hold a grudge. That's not true. I do hold grudges, but only when they're more deserved. One time, two times, whatever. It's fine. Three, four times? Yeah, I'm gonna fuck you up. Um, yay! Demonetization! <laughs> like I said, it's not a paycheck for me. Uh, but no, like you get Raid Boss Open, for example. Um, Choctopus expressed privately to several individuals that he was disappointed that A, it flopped, and B, he did not get a larger subscriber count from it, that it didn't get as much traffic. Um, he was hoping that it would pay for itself. Uh, and maybe it did, maybe it didn't, I don't know. Um, but like, that was his concern was the money. And I get it. When you work a job, you need money. <laughs> People don't work jobs because they like jobs. You know? Like, I have work in two and a half hours. I'm not jumping for joy about going into a dairy cooler and getting yelled at by people wanting buttermilk. You know what I mean? I do it because I need the money. So I don't fault him morally for this at all. Okay? Don't take it like that. Um, but the reason that Raid Boss Open failed when everyone in the world, except for Alpha Rad, because as it turns out, Alpha Rad was actually telling him to legalize Incineroar, which was stupid. Um, the reason that failed, whereas if I ran an Amiibo tournament, and I've done dozens, would succeed, is because I know enough and care enough about Amiibo that I would know better, and I do know better, than to legalize Incineroar. Right? It's a difference. If you're doing it for a paycheck, you want as many people as possible in your tournament. If you're doing it for a passion, you want a good tournament. There's a difference. And the good tournament route, that over I'm, I'm talking larger picture here, right? The passion route has really not contributed much to the growth. It's really not. Haven't chased a lot of views. It took me like a year and a half to even consider doing raid boss videos because of how cringy I considered them to be at the time. Now I'm, I'm starting to see some of the actual, like, depth and strategy that you could use on them, you know, to, to like, fight people off. I'm really excited about the Byleth raid boss amiibo in particular. Um, but, like, this is my passion. I live, breathe, and shit amiibo, you know? So... I don't know what the next six months have. I don't have a damn clue. Um, I hope it's great. I hope we hit 2,000 subscribers. I hope we hit 5,000 subscribers. I don't know. That would all be really awesome, and I would love it. But if you've watched this far, if you've listened this far, thank you. That's really all that can be said. <laughs>